so what's going on guys it is jm it is v boxing make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on 20 of the videos also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what i'm saying in any of the videos like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel so tony bellew is confident that he could be the first man to hand andre ward a loss in a professional boxing match and he says if andre ward wants to challenge himself and move up to the cruiserweight division then he'll come back down to the cruiserweight division and the two can get it on but he says he's not going to give in to any stupid demands that andre ward and his team might have in terms of negotiations for the fight and i'm going to quote tony bell you here he says i'm going to be honest i've got quite a few options in front of me it come to light this week that andre ward wants to do business so listen i'm happy to oblige he made the call eddie picked up he comes to me if he wants to dance i can do it i want it here i like it here with all due respect he's an amazing fighter one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world but i ain't no light heavyweight he's saying he likes heavyweights i'm saying i'll do cruiserweight i don't know what i do know is i'm happy to do it as long as it makes sense and they don't want to start getting ridiculous with the percentages and stuff then we can do it because i've done that before and i'm not going to do it again we'll see obviously tony bell is making reference to the david hay fight in which he had to give david hay a lot in that fight in terms of negotiations he had to give up a lot of stuff because david hay was the a-side in that fight but now he's saying that he's got the win over david hay that he wants a fair shake at the negotiations table against andre ward but andre ward is a superstar in terms of boxing pound for pound he is obviously the pound for pound best right now in my opinion and obviously Tony Bellew is the naturally bigger man in there in terms of size and stuff like that. He is the naturally bigger man, obviously, he's six foot three. He outweighs Andre Ward by about thirty pounds in the ring. So it'd be interesting, but Andre Ward, in my opinion, is the quicker man in terms of hand speed and foot speed. That is obvious. And Andre Ward is a fighter who isn't really known for having particularly quick hands or quick feet or great athleticism. But compared to Tony Bellew, he is far superior in them departments. And obviously the ring IQ as well. Andre Ward's ring IQ is off the charts. He is a genius when he gets in there sometimes, Andre Ward. The way he can adjust the styles and stuff like that and turn a fight into his favour and nullify his opponents. And I could see him doing that against Tony Bellew. And Tony Bellew knows he's the bigger man in there. But he knows what he's up against with Andre Ward, even though... He is the bigger man compared to Andre Ward. But he's not getting in there with any old Billy Bob Bumblefuck. He's getting in there with Andre Ward. One of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. So in my opinion I think if the two fighters fought. I think Tony Bellew would go in there. Obviously try and use his size against Andre Ward. But I think Andre Ward could adjust to Tony Bellew. I don't think Tony Bellew is good enough technically to be able to give. Andre Ward problems in there even though he is the bigger man I think Andre Ward could still manage to turn the fight into his favour and nullify Tony Bellew and get the win over 12 rounds and defeat Tony Bellew I don't think he beats Tony Bellew in terms of stoppages or he knocks Tony Bellew out I don't see that happening because Tony Bellew does have a decent chin and Andre Ward isn't the most powerful fighter but I see him beating Tony Bellew over 12 rounds that's just my opinion you might think Andre Ward is way too small for Tony Bellew, but I just think in terms of boxing IQ and the way Andre Ward can adjust the guys in the ring, I think he'd be able to beat somebody like Tony Bellew because it's not like Tony Bellew is a big man who's very technically gifted. He's a big man. He does hit kind of hard as well, Tony Bellew. He does hit hard, but he isn't the greatest fighter in terms of technical ability, whereas Andre Ward is a very great fighter. In terms of technical ability so this is just my opinion on this comment below your opinion it's jm it's sweet boxing